Shalom, shalom. It's your brother Wal Rumya back with another lesson. Lord willing to be edifying. I want to start by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Wahara Kakadash, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. And shalom to the 144,000 and the one third men, women, and children that will escape the judgment. So Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Just got another lesson. Um, basically, still signs of the time. Prophecy, man. As you see, Chinese scientists claim they have discovered a new bat. You see it linked to pang pangolins that it's like that has the same freak mutation as you see it, man. And I let I got that pangolins. Pangolins. Let's make sure I'm pronouncing it correctly. I don't always want to make sure I pronounce it correctly. Pangolins. Pangolins, these are pangolins. I seen, I looked it up, and it says sometimes known as scurrily ant eaters are mammals. To, to, I say to, of the order of. Falodota. Falodota. So this is right here. You going to research, but it's a, basically the point is, it's a damn ant eater. Pangolins. Pangolins. I was correct pronouncing it. Pangolins. So they discover scientists, scientists, Chinese scientists claim they have discovered a new bat. You see it linked to pangolins that has the same freak mutation. And the pangolins, they also eat these things, man. They also eat them. Let me see. Let's see. On I mean, I guess you can do a little research on them, but I know they've been eating them. Let me see. Cause I ain't trying to do no lesson on pangolins. I was just trying to get the basic information on them. Let me see. Price of skill. Pangolin skill. Okay. Hang on. That's what he, uh, let me put it in eat eat. We're gonna say Pangolins are in the high demand, it's like a, are in high demand in countries like China and Vietnam. Their meat is considered a delicacy. The pangolin scales are used in tradition, traditional medicine and folk remedies. So they've been eating these things, man. They always come with some wild shit that heathens eat and they make it into a, as you, as you know, as a, Something that spreads, man. So these pangolins are now the new P pandemic. I don't think they're monitoring that, but uh, it's gonna say fair use, fair use. What will be used in this video is just satire. Um, it won't be used as any factual information. Just used as satire for educational purposes. As you see now, it says Mister Mystery Wave of Pneumonia hits America. Ohio County records records 142 child cases of white lung syndrome, which it had, which it says meets the definition of an outbreak as China and Europe grapples with crises. So they're bringing this next thing in, man. If you believe it or not, you, you can see it or not, it's coming, man. And it's, I ain't gonna say it's coming, it's already here. It says CDC is adding flu and RSV surveillance at major airports. So they're going to see this next this next thing coming, man. They're going to see if you got it or not, man. And that's why that whole thing in New York where they can come around you up. That's a part of it. It says now they are telling us that D.C. area hospitals are reporting an uptick in sick visits as global concern for respiratory illnesses grow. 
So they're, they're planning the next big thing. And, and you know, BG said it was coming. And now, as today started the cope, the cope, twenty eight man. So this is a, this is the agenda is set on the books right now, man. It started today. Is today is Thursday, the November the twenty third. The ends Tuesday, December uh, December twelfth. And let's I'm gonna let him break it down, and he's gonna tell you what it's gonna lead to. Which being men of the Lord and women of the Lord, we know um, what this is all leading to because many. Men of the Lord have been doing lessons on it, starting with the apostles and elders of Great Millstone on down, been doing lessons on the prophecy the scriptures forewarn us about. And we are now we we in the time of prophecies finna manifest before our eyes. So let's get this video and then we hear some scriptures. Twenty-eight will take place from November thirtieth to December twelfth. Eventually that's gonna lead to the mark of the beast. So there'll be another pandemic, and then they'll bring about a digital ID after that uh, pandemic. So part of the Paris Climate Agreement are these 17 goals, and it's for full control, and full control of you and I, and uh, I call it the all-seeing smart card. And so it's the eye, eye over climate action, and it's for sustainability, monitoring, assessing, rating, and tracking you. And so it's an actually acronym of SMART. And the roadmap, the, the roadmap and comprehensive plan to control you is through the, through the SDGs. This is the, how they're going to implement the Paris Climate Agreement for every human being and how they live until the end of 2030. So they have to transform every single human being within the next seven years and uh, through this plan. So this smart plan is what I actually meant. Um, this agenda sets up for the world for a tyrannical leader known as scripture as Antichrist. On December 11th through the 12th of December, final negotiations will be underway to strengthen the Paris Climate Agreement for seven years. So. On November 30th, they're going to declare their plan of action that they'll release to the parties their rough draft for the seven-year deal. The first day of COP28 will be on the World Climate Action Summit. This, this goes for two days. The third day is for, they'll be discussing health, relief, recovery, and peace. This, this is the whole day that's re, for peace and security on December 3rd. The fourth day is for finance, trade, gender equality, and accountability. So here we have the smart card being played out again. December 5th is on energy and industry and a just transition for indigenous peoples. December 6th will be a multi-level action, urbanization, and environmental transport. So they want to change the way how we move about. On the 7th of December is a day of rest. That's their Sabbath. It's a Thursday. December 8th will be up focused on youth, children, and December 9th will be on nature, land use, and oceans. So December 9th connects with what King Charles wants to proclaim based on his document on May, May 5th to bring about 10 principles each year for the next seven years on how we should, on land use in the oceans. And December 10th is on, on their control of food, agriculture, and water. And then December 10th through 11th and 12th will be final negotiations for their seven year deal. And they say peace and safety. Heralded Remember? the dawn of a new age of peace. Fundamentally important to our own national security as well as. As you see it, man, and I'm going to bring it back just a little bit because it was a day dedicated just for, they said indigenous people, man, but we know who they're speaking about, man. And they, they speak in codes to each other and they're warning about the Israelites, man. I think it was on day five. There you go. Hold on, bring it back right here. Trade, gender equality, and accountability. So here we have the smart card being played out again. December fifth is on. And that smart card is talking about the MOTB, which is we know as the small grain of rice. Man, now pay attention to this. G and industry. And as you see on the fifth day, energy, energy industry, just transition, indigenous peoples. Transition for indigenous peoples. December 6th will be a multi-level. So, and they know they're talking about the Israelites, man, because their, their focus is on us, man, because 
everything is dictated around the children of Israel, man. And cope, I mean, uh, cope 28, you can look that up. That's a quick, easy Google definition. And I think it stands for, um, I almost want to look it up too. Let me just find it real quick. That's no, no big deal. Let's see what the meaning is. Yeah, perfect. I had looked it up before. Cope 28 starts today in Dubai from November the 30th, December 28, 2023. The 28th Conference of the Parties. That's what it means. The Conference of the Parties, man. So all these nations are in on it. It says we'll bring together countries from around the world to increase habit, habitate, habitant, habitation. Let me get it down. <laughs> Ambition. Amb Damn, Salakia. Ambition. Implement existing goals and strengthen compl compliments commitments damn i'm, I'm tripping already <laughs> commitment strengthen commitments so this is what this is about man they're setting up agenda for the next seven years man and seven goals into completion so we, we know that they're not going to complete their goals that they had set for themselves and this is this lesson is going to be about what esau edom and these other heathen nations are said to do is not going to be accomplished. And uh, I want to start right here, but I had a scripture that came to my spirit that I need to bring out. This is Isaiah 10. And see, this, this is the point, man. This is what the men of the Lord have been prophesying to our people, man. You are the reason why they set up these agendas, man. Everything is based around you blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans. And they're going to try to achieve their goals of putting you back in slavery, man. And he's going to put his own people in slavery. But the point is, the men of the Lord and the women of the Lord are Yahweh by Shem Yahweh's, not Esau's, man. So that's what we're trying to get through, through our people's head. You are the people of the Lord, man. They're not going to ever tell you that. And if you don't believe that you are the people of the Lord, you're going to stay his slave, man. Because a lot of people are going to take his, take his mark and be his slave and be destroyed in here in Babylon the Great. This is Isaiah 20, and I'm going to start at verse 1. It says, Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and that right grievousness which they have prescribed to turn aside the needy from judgment and to take away the right from the poor of my people. See that? He says that they that the widows may be their prey and that they may rob the fatherless, man. So they they, they wanna they wanna take us out, man. They are against us, man. And that's what they've always been against us. Even before we was in the truth. We found out coming to the truth, all the agendas and all the written written up uh legislations and shit they have from uh, was it um, uh, agenda what twenty one, the Alfred Alfred plan? All these agendas that had set up for us from the beginning, man. Before we even came into the truth, man. Before, before we was even born, most most of them plans are before we even. A lot of our brothers were born, man. This is Job twenty one, and I'm gonna drop down to verse seven. It says, "Wherefore do the wicked live, become old, yea, are mighty in power, and they have been setting up these agendas for many many years, man." Uh, it says their seed is established in their sight with them and their offsprings before their eyes. See, all their, their, their lively, they, they, their, their, their bloodline is already established, man. As you've seen through the uh, the Rothschilds, man. They've been set up. They know that they come back in reincarnation, man. They change their names plenty of times and they've been setting up these agendas for many, many years, man. Verse uh, verse uh, eight, it says their seed is established in their sight with them and their offspring before their eyes, man. See, they, their, their family's been set up for many years, man, right before them, man. They have never been at straits, man. They've never been in po poverty, anything, man. They've always had it all, man. Not only them, but the 13 families that rule with them, man. It says their houses are safe from fear. Neither is the rod of power upon them. See, the Lord is not against them right yet, man. 
See, the Lord deal, deal, didn't deal with them as a child. He dealt deal with them as a bastard, bastard child, man. So basically, he just let their, their iniquities and their sins pile up, man. I had, a, I had a vision about that, man, many years ago, man. About I'm going to tell you real quick because the, in, in the dream, I was in, I was in, it was like a volcano that the Edomites was in, man. It was like a volcano, which a volcano, you know, when you look at the top of it, it's a pit, man. It was very spiritual, man. It was very spiritual. So in a dream, uh, it's like I said, it's many years ago, it, they was in a volcano and the lava was way down at the bottom of the, of the pit. But it was like an area where the pit was, where they was, they was, um, all the Edomites and shit, they was, they was located at. And it was this Edomite woman and it was a list written on a wall and the list, man, it was so long. You couldn't even get to all of it, man. And the Edomites was, they was, um, it was the Edomite men I seen, but I didn't see no women. I just seen the men and they was all like, like three or four people to a, a, a fire. It was like three or four people to a fire and they all had go like they had like garments, but they had like, like, uh, what you see in a caveman movies. They just had, uh, they was wrapped around their private area, you know, your waist, like some shorts, but it was like some leaves or something. And, uh, this was what, this is what they was wearing. And they was happy to be not be in power, man. In my vision, man, like I said, it was many years ago and they was happy to not be in power. And the woman came to me and she showed me the list and like I said, a list was like the, from the top of the volcano all the way down. And it was like written on the wall. And it was just like all the things that they'd done. And they was happy to be not be in power, man. They was happy to not be in power. They was happy to be in, in that pit, man. Because they know the wickedness that they'd done, they had to be taken out, man. And that's what I got from the vision, man. They was happy to be taken out of power. Back to it. It says, um, uh, that was it. That was it. Let me get the next scripture. This is uh, Job 20. And I'm going to start at verse uh, 4. It says, Knowest thou not this of old, since man was placed upon earth, that the triumphant of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite for a moment, but for a moment? Though the excellency mount up to the heavens, and his head reacheth unto the clouds, yet he shall perish forever. Like his own dung, man. And this is what's slated for the Edomites, man. Obadiah 1 18, man. They which have seen them shall see them, shall say, Where is he? And they're finna be taken out of power, man, and put into the pit which they're digging for themselves, man. This is Ecclesiastes 10. If I can get to it. Oh, here we go again. Ecclesiastes 10. That, that Bible is just so easy to maneuver and get precepts and get different translations. That's why I like it. This is Ecclesiastes 10, and I'm going to start at verse 5. It says, There is an evil which I have seen under the sun, as an, as an error which proceedeth from the ruler. It says, Folly is set at great is set in great dignity, and that's what it is, man. Esau set up folly, and he has it he has it above the people, man. <clears throat> so they only look to do us. That's all that pe our people look to do is folly, man. The heathen nations and especially the children of Israel, man. He says, and the rich sit in low place. The who's supposed to be ruling is sitting at a low place right now, man. The kingdom of heaven has not been established yet. The people, the small headers in the land, is not, that's not heaven, man. That's not fulfillment of, of, of the Bible, man. It says, I have seen servants upon horses. And this is going back to when you seen Roosevelt. Uh, I think it was Roosevelt. He had a he had a, um, um, a statue of a Jake, I think, on the right, uh, right, uh, right on the left-hand side, and the northern, the northern tribe on one side and the southern tribe on another side, man. But he he's seen it. He's seen this though. This is basically what he was going into, man. They, 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 it was this Solomon. He was spirit power. You have about Shemiah Shah seen this. And he, he was he seen this on the earth, man. He said, I've seen servants upon horses and the and princes walking as servants upon the earth. And that's us, man. He says, He that diggeth a pit shall fall in it. 
See, this is what Esau was doing. He's digging a pit, man, for his own self to fall into it, man. This is going to be his judgment. It says, he diggeth a pit and shall, diggeth a, he diggeth a pit, shall fall into it. And whoso breaketh an hedge, a serpent shall bite him. Whoso, who, uh, whoso removeth a stone shall be hurt therewith. And he that cleaveth the wood shall be in danger thereby. And that's what Esau, man. He's going to fall into the pit in which he dug. And everything that he set up, these agendas, he's going to fall into the same agendas that he have, man. Making people take the MOTB, getting people sick. All these things are going to fall on him, man. Getting you, getting you jabbed up and getting sick from all these, these plagues that he's putting on the earth. He's going to fall into these same judgments, man. He's going to fall into these same judgments. This is Psalms 10, I want to get. This is Psalms 10, and I just want to get the point in verse 8. He says, he sitteth in lurking places of the villages. In the secret places do he murder the innocents. That's what he's doing, man. They over in Dubai setting up hidden agendas, man, that they want to bring on the earth, man. His eyes are privily set against the poor. And he made indignant, he, 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 they coded it by saying indigenous people, man. In what land? They talking about all the lands, man. You talking about your Israelites, man. The indigenous people, man. This is their agenda is, is against you, man. He says he lieth in wait secretly as a lion in, a, in his den. He lieth in wait to catch the poor. That's what he's doing, man. He's setting these plagues up to come in and get the children of Israel, man. He says, he doeth catch the poor when he draweth him into his net. See that? He's drawing the people into the net, man. Two-thirds of our people are being drawn into a net. They don't know that another pandemic is on its way. They don't know a great sickness is coming. That's going to, to The next sickness is going to kill. Anybody to get is going to kill them like 40, I think it's 40% to 75%. They're going to be put to death to get it. And now they, they're having these, these different Small plagues come before they really push out the real one, man. So this man is sitting, he's, he's, he's explaining him to the T. He says, he croucheth and humbleth himself. See that? You see him on the news and telling you, uh, oh, don't worry about it. It's just, it's, it's just uh, another little disease. We're going to never have another jab come out. It's going to take the, the um, take it away if you take it. You know what I'm saying? You take the next jab, it's going to take the, the, new, the new pandemic away, man. The new plague away. Hope they ain't hope they ain't monitoring that word yet. It says that the poor may fall by his strong ones. He says, He that said in his heart, Power hath forgotten, he hideth his face. He will never see it. And that's what Esau thinks, man. The Lord ain't seeing what he's doing, man. The Lord is, is not seeing what he's doing. That's what he thinks, man. He says, Arise, O Yahweh by Shem Shah. O power, lift up thy lift up thy hand, forget not the humble, man. And the Lord is not going to forget the, the elect, man. So we are pushing to be a part of the elect, man, to be in that number. He says, wherefore doeth the wicked contend power? He hath said in his heart, thou will not require it. See that Esau thinks the Lord is not going to require what he's done throughout the generations, man. He don't think the Lord going to require, especially now. You know what I'm saying? Especially now, man. He don't think the Lord is going to require what he's done, man. A great judgment is going to fall on Esau Edom, man. He's going to fall into that pit which he's digging for himself. This is Psalm 64. And I'm going to start at verse 1. Psalm of David. He says, hear my voice, O power, in my prayer. Preserve my life from the fear of the enemy. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked. And that's what they're doing, man. It's a secret counsel they got going on over there, man, in Dubai. Two-thirds of our people are not even paying attention to that. Only the elect are paying attention and hearing what they're doing, man. He says, hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity, man. He says, who wet their tongue like a sword. And that's what they're doing, man. They wet their tongue like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, 
even bitter words, man. And they over there saying we got to get rid of them, man. We're seeing too many things going on in the heavens. The Lord is going to return, man, and get them, man, and punish us. So they, they, they got to speed up this thing they got going on, man. He says, he says that they may shoot in, in secret at the perfect. And that's what they're doing. They're doing this in secret. And they're trying to shoot at the perfect, man, which is you Israelites, man. He says, suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. See, they're, they're making these agendas to come against the children of Israel. And they ain't fearing the Lord. They don't think the Lord is going to come back, man. That's their thing. If the Lord don't come back, we, we got it made, man. But the Lord is going to interrupt their, their, their plans, man. He says, they encourage themselves in an evil manner. They commune of laying snares privily, man. See, they were laying these traps. They laying these traps for two-thirds of our people, man. They say, who shall see them? And that's what, they, that's what, they, that's what they're thinking, man. The Lord is not coming back, man. They, he, they just in the heavens and they ain't coming back, man. They see them angels. They give them different names. These little green man, little gray men or whatever they say. They don't believe the Lord is coming back, man. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahushua, we feel the Lord coming back, man. We feel, we can, man, we can almost taste the Lord coming back and making destruction on this place, man. It says, but power shall shoot at them with an arrow. Suddenly shall he, suddenly shall they be wounded, man. So they shall make their tongue to fall upon themselves. All they that see them shall flee away, man, because the destruction is coming on Esau Edom, man. This destruction is coming. The thermonuclear missile is going to be shot. Do they think they're going to they're going to keep continue to do and make these agendas and 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 set up these councils and they said they made this council for the next seven years, man, all the way to twenty thirty, man. See, they don't think the Lord is gonna 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 interrupt their plans, man. But we know for a fact the Lord is gonna interrupt their plans, man. He says, and all men shall fear, and shall declare the works of power. See that when they see the Lord bringing judgment on Esau, Edom, they're gonna they're gonna fear, man. All these nations that are joined to him, they're gonna fear, man, and they're gonna declare the work of power, man. He says, for they shall wisely consider his doings of his doings, man, of his doing. He says the righteous shall be glad in Yahweh by Shem Yahushua, man. That's a fact. And we're doing that now. And shall trust in him. What the hell is that? Shalakia. It says, and trust in him, and, and trust in him, and all the upright in heart shall glory, man. See, we're going to glory because we, we were bleed on the Lord's report, man. We believed in Yahweh by Shem Yahushua that he was going to return and do exactly what he said he was going to do, man. And that's our faith, man. Because two-thirds of our people don't have a clue what's going on, man. They don't know that Esau Eden is setting a great trap for them, man. A snare. And it's been planned for many years, man. But the elect has hope, man. Two-thirds of our people don't have hope, man. They don't have faith in what, what we believe in. And that's your how about Shem Yahushua. This is Job 20, and I'm going to drop down to 22. It says, in the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. See that they, they going into his agenda, thinking where well, he's he's basically he's basically in control of the earth. He's in control of the money system. He's in control of the, the, the food supply, the water supply, all over the world, man. Not just in Babylon the Great, but all over the world, man. But it's soon going to be turned on him, man. He says, when he is about to fill his belly, power shall cast. The fury, the fury of his wrath upon him, man. So when Esau get his agendas and all these, the NWO, that's what he's setting up. When he get this set up, the Lord is finna may strike him through, man. And shall rain it upon him while he is eating. See that? When Esau got everything set up and, and, and the plans are moving smooth, they started to get people put the, the grain the grain of rice into them. They're gonna be, they gonna think they're gonna they in, they on the home stretch, man. We got everything set up, man. He says, he shall flee from the iron weapon and the bow of steel shall strike him through, man. That's those thermonuclear ballistic missiles, man. He says, it is drawn and come out of the body. Yea, the glittering sword cometh out the gall, cometh out his cometh out of the his gall. Terror are upon him. See that? The terrors of the missiles are going to be upon him, man. Because his NWO has been, de been destroyed, man. His NWO is going to be destroyed, man. 
He says, all darkness shall be hid in his secret places, man. A fire not blown shall consume him. It shall go ill with him that is left in his tabernacle, man. So if you if these these bunkers and shit they set up, man, they them underground cities and shit, the missile's gonna gonna going to, to to interrupt all that, man. He says the heaven shall reveal his iniquity. We seeing it now, man. The heavens have revealed the sins of Esau Edom and in these heathen nations, man. He says, and the earth shall rise up against him. The increase of his house shall depart, and his goods shall flee away in the day of his wrath, man. See, all the things Esau Edom has done and is set up on earth is going to be taken away from him in one hour, man. This is the portion of the wicked man from power and his heritage appointed unto him, uh, pointing unto him by power, man. This is the heritage. Everything is going to be taken away from him and those thermonuclear missiles are going to destroy his kingdom, his, his wicked kingdom, man. This is playing out like a cartoon, like G.I. Joe, <laughs> or, 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 or you could say like um, uh, one of these, uh, you know what I'm saying, the He-Man or something. Skeletor and all that type shit, man. But it's even it's, it's they ain't comparing it to that, you know. I'm just making a um, assumption about it, but you, you you can see this movie being played out, man. And we at the end, and for the credits to roll, man. We at the end of this man's system, man. The end of his his reign. And we see it. We see it. We see it like a movie, man. That's why it's so beautiful for us to to, to break down these scriptures, man. Because we see it like a movie, man. This is Psalms 11, and I just want to get the point in verse 5 down to 7. It says, How about Shem El Shai tribe the righteous, but the wicked and him that loveth violence, his soul hateth, man. And you know who that is, man. Upon the wicked he shall rain snares. See that? It says it's going to rain it down while he is eating, man. So this is going to come on the wicked man. Fire and brimstone and a horrible tempest. This shall be the portion of, of, his, of their cup. And that's talking about those thermonuclear missiles, man. It's going to rain it down on him while he is eating, man. While he's filling his belly. It says, for the righteous, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh loveth righteousness. His countenance doeth behold the upright. See, the Lord is, is dealing with the men of the Lord, man. And you women of the Lord. The Lord is dealing with us for us to be saved up out of here, man. So the Lord is hearing our prayers, man. And the, the judgment of Esau Edom is up on them now, man. We see it coming. This is Psalm 7. I'm going to drop down to verse 9. It says, oh, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end. That's what we're praying for. But establish the just. And that's what we are praying for. It says, for the righteous power try up the hearts and reins. My defense is of power, which saveth the upright in heart, man. See, we're, we're looking to be saved from Esau Edom, man. It says, power judges the righteous and power is angry with the wicked every day, man. He judges us, man. He corrected, us, corrected the men of the Lord and the women of the Lord for us to get right, man. It says, if he turneth not, he will wet his sword. He hath bent his bow and made it ready. And these going into the missiles, man. All the scripture we read is going to his kingdom going down by thermal destruction, man. Thermal missiles, man. It says, he have also prepared for him the instruments of death. What's the instruments of death, man? We continue to go over them, man. It says, he ordaineth his arrows against the persecutors. And that's the arrows, is, we keep saying it, man. This, the Lord is telling you how this is all going to end. Behold, he travelleth with iniquity, and he conceiveth, it's like, and he hath conceived mischief and brought forth falsehoods. And that's what Esau has done. He's brought forth falsehood, man, on the children of Israel, man. And he's done that was this lesson I did before, man. He he um had a sigh up on the rap music, man. For the children of Israel, man. And and this is this is this is his man's way of dealing with the children of Israel, man. He says he made a pit and digged it and is falling into the ditch which he made, man. And that's what he's doing, man. He's falling into the ditch which he made, man. This is the, here's, here's, here's the reason why wickedness is on the earth right now, man. 
His mischief shall return upon his own head and his violent dealing shall come down upon his own pate, man. So this destruction is going to come on his own head. All the things he done, he brought it on himself, man. He says, I will, I will praise Yahweh by Shem Yahweh according to his righteousness. And I was, and I was saying praise to the name of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh the most high, man. So the Lord is going is to is let Esau eat them. And these other heathen nations, man, he let their sins pile up, man. He didn't correct them. He judged us and he let them pile theirs up, man. Because they're not his sons. He's going to deal with... He, <laughs> He's going to deal with, with them with those thermonuclear destruction, man. They got a double, they got a double, double death, not double death, but he got a double punishment coming to them, man. They're going to be destroyed by thermonuclear missiles, and then he's going to bring them back to serve hardcore slavery, man. So if you look, if you really think about it and look at it, man, the Lord gave us a way out, ease, a, a easy way out, man. Because we went into slavery, but Esau was going to get destroyed in going to slavery, man, for a thousand years. And then he's going to be utterly, utterly wasted out of the earth, man. So the Lord, man, whew, you don't want to fall on, on Lord, the Yahweh by Shem Yahweh's left hand side, man. <laughs> this is Job 18, and I'm going to start at verse uh, five. He says, yea, the light of the wicked shall be put out, man. The light of the wicked is going to be put out. All the wicked agendas and 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 and, and, and um um di all the wickedness that he's dealing dealing with, uh, trying to go against us, man, trying to get his birthright back, man. He's going to be put out, man. It's going to it's going to be put out. His light is going to be put out, man. Yea, the light of the wicked shall be put out, and the spark of his fire shall not shine. The light shall be dark in his tabernacle and his candle shall be put out with him. He, he's never going to rule again, man. This is over with for him, man. The steps of his strength shall be straightened and his own counsel shall cast him down, man. All his, all his friends and allies are going to put him down, man. For he is cast into a net by his own feet, man. See, all the things he's setting up is for himself, man. The Lord is, man, the Lord is, is doing a numb on him, man. The Lord has let him do his, he, he, the Lord has let him do everything against his own self, man. The Lord is not stopping him from doing this to himself, man. He let him do it, man. He, he's like a, a kid in a, in a, um, in a room by himself with a, with a damn fork or a butter knife and stick it into a damn plug, man. And nobody's there to stop him from doing it, man. He says, and he walketh upon a snare. The jinn shall take him. <laughs> and I'm going to say, too, <laughs> he's stuck in a room with a wet shirt on with a, with a butter knife for to stick it into a damn plug, man, and be electrocuted, man. But it's going to be wor way worse than being electrocuted, man. But he's, he's, he's set to himself, man. The Lord has let him go by himself, man, like a kid, man. Go ahead and do what you want to do, man. See, the Lord blessed us to be chastised by the Lord, man. That's why Esau, Edom, his, his uh, punishment is going to be so much worse than ours, man. And you got to see that, man. You got to see that the Lord is, man. He loved us, man. But he let Esau do whatever he want to do because he's a bastard, man. It says, verse 9, it says, The jinn shall take him by the heel, and the robber shall prevail against him, man. So everything is finna be it's finna come away from Esau Edom, man. He says the snare is laid for him in the ground and a trap for him in the way. That's that pit he's finna fall into, man. He says, terrors shall make him afraid on every side, on every side, man. So wherever Esau Edom is, he's finna be put down, man. Judgment is gonna be up on him, man. On every side. And shall drive him to his feet. His strength shall be hunger bitten. And destruction shall be ready at his side, man. There's nowhere to run for him, man. And, and Jake keep on talking about Esau getting in the kingdom, and the kingdom is for everybody. Somebody's got if the, the kingdom is for everybody. What is the Lord talking about right here in Job, man? What is Job talking about? Somebody's going to be set to get punished, man. 
And, and, and they keep telling you, terror is going to be at him, make him afraid. Who is that? It ain't going to be the children of Israel. We already suffered our punishment, man. <sighs> he says, he, uh, verse 13, he says, he shall devour the strength of his skin. Even the firstborn of death shall devour his strength. His confidence shall be rooted out of his tabernacle. See that? All the things that he's trying to do, he's going to see that they ain't working, man. Not even his weapons are not going to be able to work, man. He says, and it shall be, it's like, and it shall bring him to the king of terrors, man. Who's going to bring him to the king of terrors, man? Yahweh Shai, man, is going to bring him to the king of terrors, and that's his self, man. The Lord, Yahweh Shai, this is set up strategically by Yahweh, man, to bring him to Yahweh Shai, man, the king of terrors, man. So let him do all these agendas, do all this against the children of Israel to set him up to come to the Lord, man. He baiting them in, in other words. You know how you bait somebody in, man? You, you bring them to you, man, by, by, by their own will. And the Lord going to punish him, man. He says, uh, it shall, verse 15, he says, it shall dwell in his tabernacle because it is none of his. Brimstone shall be scattered upon his habitation, man. It's those missiles, man. His roots shall be dried up beneath him. It's like a beneath. And above shall his branches be cut off, man. It's his, it's his children, his nephew, nieces, all is going to be cut off, man. His bloodline. It says his remembrance shall perish from the earth, man. Job, uh, Obadiah 118, man. He's going to perish from the earth. It says, and he shall have no name in the street. And it's not going to be no Kellogg Street, no... Rothschild Boulevard is all that's gonna be done, man. He says he shall be driven from light into darkness, man. So now he's at high. He's uh, Lucifer. He's a light bearer right now, but he's gonna be driven into darkness, man, into those pits. And shall and chased out of the world. He's gonna be chased out of the world. It was a uh, it's a it's a man beautiful. Reggae song, um, and it's saying, um, I think it's, I forgot his name, man. Um, it, it, it says, I'm chased the devil out of the earth. He got that from the scriptures, man. And it's talking about Esau, Edom, man. So they're not going to be in the kingdom of heaven lounging in the lawn chair. No, nah, man. They're going to be in hardcore slavery until they be utterly wasted, man. He shall neither have son nor nephew among his people, man nor any remaining uh, in his dwelling place, in his dwelling. They that come after him shall be astonished at his day. So all the, uh, all his, his, his offsprings, when they be born, they're not going to be, as we read earlier, they're not in, in Joel, was it 21, about them coming and they, 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 um, their bloodline is established. When they come back in the kingdom of heaven, they're going to wonder where their riches went to. Why they are low? Why, why, why they don't have anything? Why they're poor? They're gonna they're gonna wonder that. They're gonna be astonished to see that they ain't had nothing, man. Twenty again, it says, "They that come after him shall be astonished at his day, as they that went before were frightened." Surely, such are the dwellings of the wicked. They're going to be very poor, man. They're going to deal in pits. He says, and this is the place of him that knoweth not power, man. So what you, what Esau done and what he's trying what he tried to do against the children of Israel, he's going to know that the Lord was with us the whole time, man. And the Lord wasn't with him at all. And he let him do this to himself. He brought all this wickedness upon his own head, man. All the judgments that's coming on him, man, he doesn't have a clue that's coming, man. He don't believe the Lord is coming back, man. So the judgment is right at Esau's neck, man. And he's continued to go forward with his agenda, man. So go on, Esau. Do whatever you want to do, man. But your judgment is coming, man. And it's very, very soon to come, man. I'm going to end it there. Lord willing, was edifying. Shalom.